Because Pakistani car owners often exceed the collection, the Brake Valley is scrapped very quickly, so they will melt the scrap iron and remake it. Today, we will take a look at how Pakistan uses waste to make it. This is a small manufacturing workshop in Karachi, Pakistan. Since the reused sand has been completely hardened in order to increase the overall viscosity of the sand, the master will also clamp the waste oil in the mixer so that when the sand is pressed and injected, it will not easily crack and collapse. The production of break ancient molds is all done by shaping the blanks and then covering them with a numbered iron sandbox. For this grid-shaped welded bottom, the soil provides support. When the film is removed, the sand will separate from the sandbox, so there will be no odor when it is glued. The master will compact and press the internal hollow bones, and then the molded upper mold can be disassembled. Considering that the contact surface of the break bone is relatively large, the master must not only apply a release agent on the inner wall, but also apply a release agent on the inner wall. An additional layer of talcum powder should be sprinkled. Even if the interior is filled with sand, the sand drum can be easily demolded. A sandbox is also used as the base at the bottom. The tighter the soil is pressed, the lower the probability of sand holes inside. After reserving a vent hole in the center, the blank column part standing inside can be separated from the mold. With the layering effect of talcum powder, the molding process is also progressing very smoothly. The mold of the sand drum is formed. The raw materials used for manufacturing in their small workshop are these recycled scrap iron. The master will use a hammer to smash them all because their melting furnace has a small diameter. Only with fragments can the efficiency of melting molten iron be improved. In order to quickly increase the temperature in the furnace, they will use heavy oil as the heating source. During the preheating of heavy oil, the just fragments can be thrown into the melting furnace. The pipe is incomparable with the traditional cupola. With the blessing of the ancient fan, the heating speed is better. The appearance is designed like this because the flame is jet. The outlet at one end can be used for exhaust, which improves the efficiency of scrap iron melting. While waiting for the continuous spraying of heavy oil, the curing agent sprayed inside the mold is used. The master needs to use a flamethrower to heat the inner wall at high temperature to prevent the mold from cracking. After an hour of heating, the scrap iron has reached the requirements of the glue column. Then use a specific glue bag for sub-packaging. The molten iron is poured back through the reserved glue column port until the molten iron inside is level with the observation port. This kind of column with a large internal hollow area needs to wait for cooling. Then it can be demolded. Considering that rapid cooling will also cause cracking of the column, the sand on the surface cannot be removed. In this way, normal insulation cooling can be achieved. After standing overnight in order to prevent the weight of the blank from not meeting the standard, the master will also perform a simple weighing. In this way, unqualified residual products can be screened out, then fix the blank on the car window claw plate. The outer extension and inner wall of the brake drum need to be cut smooth and flat. The inner wall needs to be directly rubbed with the brake pad. To prevent poor braking performance, smoothness is a hard requirement for processing. When the master uses the brake drum, the surface.